She's not who you think she is. All right, so that's what I kind of want to get back to. All that shouting. Honestly, Celis, you get free room and board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this woman is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except, I don't care. Because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Lieutenant. All right, we'll carry on in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and actually pop on this quest so I can get this stuff going right. Actually, uh, maybe this isn't an actual quest. Maybe this is just miscellaneous. Okay, cool. That's fine with me. Let's talk to this guy again. You don't have to do this. You've made your intentions clear. The Legion has abandoned me. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days, never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. <laughs> what? What do you mean? No, you slimy bastard! Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. I'm gonna kill this guy right now. Oh wow, I got my companion shooting at him. I'm not allowed to bring in guns, but this guy sure as hell is. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble. I might not get the reward for killing him, but at least Boone will be happy. And is Boone with me? The fuck is Boone? Boone is sitting outside. I doubt this guy has anything on him other than his armor. We'll see how this goes. Because I'm sure uh, she's not going to be happy with what I just did. Let's go ahead and talk to Boone. What is it? There was a miscommunication. Yeah, well, that's how they wrote it up in the report. We did what we were there to do. A lot of people got killed. That's war. Maybe looking back, you do things differently. But that's not how it works. In the field, you hesitate. You or someone you care about will die. They teach that from day one. You don't come out of a tour of duty without regrets. It's best just not to think about it. Yeah, always, even when I sleep. I don't think so. It won't change anything. And that's a memory I don't want refreshed. Life has a way of punishing you for the mistakes you make. Big enough mistake, punishment can take a while. Mine's not over. A murderer who does good deeds is still a murderer. And he'll still get his judgment. I left the NCR when my tour was up. Had enough of war. And decided I was gonna start over. None of it made a difference in the end. Because I'm still alive. Alright, so we're not we don't have this question. I think just one more and we're gonna get enough points for him. Let's go ahead and talk to her. She might not be Do too you have happy. Something to say or haven't you done enough? Now, what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. 
Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Sure, if you want to investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. There's something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched its possessions a dozen times. Nothing. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. I've already killed that guy. Alright, so uh, we're going to take a look at that in a second. First things first, let's go ahead and put on my weapon again. Items. I don't have any armor on. I've been running around like this. Hey. I thought some more about what you said. I think maybe you're right. Maybe I should go to Bitter Springs. I don't know what I'm hoping to find there. Nothing. Dream. Just tired of thinking about it. I hope this isn't a mistake. And there we go. We got Boone's quest. Already started. Sweet. So now we can get rid of him for now. And I've been running around naked this whole time. I didn't have any armor on. That is an issue. Uh, let's go with my... How does Courier's Duster look? Ugh. It looks terrible, but I guess it gets the job done. I'm going to go with Joshua Graham's armor for now, because at least that looks kind of cool. Um, anyways, uh, we can go to the concourse in a second to get things rolling. And we'll figure out some more stuff once we get there. But first, where is it? Okay, it's telling, I think it's telling us to go to the concourse. So it's just a, a weird way. So it wants us to go outside that way and look what's going on at midnight. So we'll do that later. But for now, we are going to go and uh, switch some people out. Boone does not... We do not need to use Boone until we decide to go over there. And I don't plan on going over there yet. I don't think so. So, I mean, I mean, we could. It's not a big deal. We could go over right now if we really... We could make the trip. There's really nothing else over there um, to do. So, it's like... It's just about when I want to do it. And uh, I don't think I want to do it right now. I mean, we could do it right now. It would not be an issue. Let me see how close we are. Maybe I will go there right now. Just get our way to Bitter Springs. Or I could finish this quest up here. I don't know what I want to do yet. That's, that's the thing. So, world map... We could travel. See, there's really nothing to travel. We could go to Camp Golf. That's probably the closest spot. And then we could walk over there. But the ideal way is to follow this path right here. Which would give us a new Vegas medical station. And then walk, or the clinic and walk over there. Issues being, I would have to do the long walk right now. And uh, come back to this later. Or I can take Veronica right now. And then do that later. Um, maybe I should just get Boone done with right now. We'll come back and do the rest here and hopefully I don't forget all the things I need to do here there's a few things I need to do I need to go to the terminal with Veronica I need to go get that guy that's getting weapons and I need to do the quest here the quest isn't what I'm afraid of of forgetting it's I'm afraid of forgetting to catch that guy's guns and go in the terminal so hopefully I don't forget to rewatch this episode so I can remember exactly what I was doing for now let's go do I forgot to remember forget kind of going out of the way I was gonna do I put a spell on you first but uh, let's just get Boone's thing out of the way so we can start doing Veronica's for sure. I don't have to switch back at, at any time. So let's go to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. And then from there, we'll walk right over there. And, uh, we'll be ready. I might have to switch weapons too. Uh, we should be fighting Deathclaws, I would imagine. So this whack -a stick won't be very nice against Deathclaws. I don't know, I can try it out, but... I should, I should be good, actually. We'll, we should be fine. 
But it's just gonna be a long walk there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get there in time. I think there might be a couple other things to do there, like a ranger station maybe that's a little bit behind it. Yes, there is. We can do the ranger station there. Vault 34 is over there. We can always hit that up, but I don't plan to hit Vault 34 up. We're just gonna do this for now. We're gonna go on a road. A row to the wasteland and then I'll, I'll come back and do that later so we're gonna, probably gonna go to the bear springs do the stuff there i really was thinking of finishing up camp mccarran and perhaps i should oh god what should i do i would have to switch to veronica though because there's some stuff veronica can get talking there um you know what we're gonna switch out for veronica and do that I, I just have a feeling that if I do this first, I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna get I'm gonna do the thing for Boone and I'm gonna get caught up in all the side quests that are that is actually at Bitter Springs. There's just like three side quests there. I'm gonna get caught up there. I'm gonna get caught up on other quests maybe along the way, and I'm gonna forget about everything I was doing at the Camp McCarran base. So perhaps I should not do that yet. I I'd hate to do this because I kind of already made my decision and then kind of go back on it. But we're gonna switch people out right now. So Boone. It's been a pleasure. Can we tell him to leave? Okay, no, we can't. We gotta talk to him and then tell him to leave. I thought there was a, maybe a, an item pad. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that one. Talk to. What is it? All right. All right. Sorry, Boone. I really it's like so you, man. But all right, we'll get him back later. Okay, it's not. It's not the end of him. We gotta get Veronica for now. What's up? Let's go make trouble. Sweet. All right, we'll do that in a second. Goodbye, Veronica. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to Camp McCarran. And we're gonna put the I put a spell on you quest once we get there back on as well. Do apologize, guys. I know it was kind of um, um, I don't know like a waste of a minute. It was just a little screen that really took time. I mean, we'll we'll do that after we finish everything up on Camp McCarran. So I don't forget. That's just like the big thing. I cannot forget what I was doing at Camp McCarran. And I I don't think I would have, but just to play it safe, I should probably just finish it. You guys know how it is. Let's go ahead and... Oh, why doesn't it spawn me inside? Alright. I don't know why it doesn't spawn you inside. Because now you got to go through another loading screen to go inside. It's probably a short loading screen, though. I'm sure they might have preloaded this. No, maybe not. So I don't know why it doesn't spawn you inside. It's like the only place that really doesn't spawn you inside if you go to it. It's not, it's not like I'm fast traveling to Camp McCarran gate. I'm fast traveling to Camp McCarran. Like, if you fast traveled to Good Springs, you wouldn't. No, nah, that wouldn't. I gotta think of a better example. A place that's inside. Like, gated. I mean, I think if you fast travel to the strip, they'll actually put you at the strip on this game. I don't know. Maybe they'll only put you at the. At the entrance. That's kind of weird. Maybe it's because on, on. You know, on. I'm thinking of Skyrim, and Skyrim always puts you at the entrance or whatever. So, anyways, whatever. Let's go ahead and go in here. I know it's gonna. We put the. I put the spell on you, but that's gonna come in a minute. We gotta. We're gonna do some other stuff around here first. One of those things is we're gonna go and uh, go talk to the cook, and then go find the gun things, and then we're gonna do that. So a few things to do. It won't take that long. There's no really any quests. It's just kind of like miscellaneous things that don't even pop up at all. Ooh, we kind of came in a different way. Okay, I got a little confused since I didn't come in through the main door. So it's like, where the hell are we? So they want you to go through the garage to get to the back. But we're going to go to the to the concourse, which is over here. Which is kind of weird. Why would they why would they have the sign to concourse right here for people walking? That doesn't make sense. To concourse right here. I was going to say, that, that is not concourse at all. So it should just say one big sign of security up there. We authorize personnel only to a concourse? Nah, that doesn't make much sense either. As you can see, this is this is a little confusing. Maybe I'm the only one. Like, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to compare this to a real airport. And authorized personnel only to this part? Eh, it doesn't make much sense. So now it looks like a concourse without any doors leading to the airplanes. But whatever. It's not perfect. Um, I don't think there's, there's probably some stuff to loot, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go talk to this guy that's owning the diner. Nelson's back. And actually, I'm going to end it, but I'm going to look right at him. So when we come back, we'll talk to this guy, probably repair some stuff for him, and that'll be it. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.